You're going to trust someone who was your enemy up until now? Kronos isn't necessarily our enemy. It's General Alma and his faction that are. What if it turns out both groups are conspiring together? With technology this powerful and dangerous, you have to be careful. Misusing it could result in the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. Not only that, it could even destroy whole civilizations. And that's a reason not to go to war? Sounds like sophistry to me. When you become as advanced as we are, you'll realize you can't just start wars whenever you want, no matter who the enemy is. Are you saying we can't comprehend because our brains are as underdeveloped as our planet? That's not what I meant. <sighs> Sorry. Let's not continue this conversation. I respect your decision. Thank you. The Kronos fleet's about to enter normal space. They'll be within Fake Creed 4's orbital trajectory in five minutes. Understood. They're emissaries, so we'll welcome them as we would any diplomat. Put him on screen. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. President. We have yet to receive any transmission from Central Command. There's no need for you to apologize. These things often do take time. I appreciate it. Captain, there's an incoming transmission from Central Command. Put them on. Commander Dean, I'm pleased to report that the President has already arrived in our sector. I see. Ah, President Mutal. It's been quite some time. Yes, it certainly has, Commander Dean. Allow me to dispense with the formalities. The Federation Security Council just finished an emergency session, and I assume both you and Captain Kenny are anxiously awaiting the results. Please. Based on Captain Kenny's report, along with the logs from his ship, the Council's decision is thus. The Pangalactic Federation accepts the Central Kronos government's request for aid. As the representative body of the Pangalactic Federation, it is our top priority to ensure that peace is maintained. Thus, while we will indeed provide our resources to you, we recommend the utilization of non-violent methods with the opposition. We appreciate the help. However, there is no guarantee that General Alma's faction can be reasoned with peacefully. In such an event, we advocate the use of force to subdue them. As you wish. We shall endeavor to solve things peacefully, resorting to military action only if that proves fruitless. Furthermore, the Charles D. Gold is by far the closest Federation vessel to Kronos territory at this time. Not only that, but it also happens to be the fastest ship in our illustrious fleet. Therefore, Captain Kenny, I appoint you as the Federation's official ambassador. I'll do my utmost to serve fittingly in this new capacity. One more thing. I will dispatch reinforcements to your destination. It's unlikely, however, that they'll arrive in time. You're on your own in regards to cooperating with the Central Kronos government. Thanks for the warning, sir. I have nothing further, Mr. President. But is there anything you would like to add? I am deeply moved by the extent of your government's generosity. Very well. Then I shall take my leave. Captain Kenny, you're the Federation proud. I'll send the mission details to your ship later. Please make sure you review them. Understood? Understood. Dean, over and out. There you go. I look forward to working with you, Mr. President. As do I. Now, sorry if this is a bit too forthright, but let me share what we know about the sector in which General Alma is currently hiding. You already know where he is? We haven't simply been twiddling our thumbs on the sideline this whole time, you know. There is a certain asteroid belt 300 light years from Kronos Station 4, and it is there that the rebel faction has clandestinely erected its hideout. 
Let me send you the data we have on it. If we know where they are, I say we start heading there this instant. Very well. We'll send a fleet of ships from the Kronos governmental forces in the meantime. They ought to be able to rendezvous with us once we enter opposition territory. Do you know how many ships there are in the Rebel fleet? Mm, a dozen or so. But the real problem isn't their numbers, it's their firepower. They have all our most advanced battle cruisers at their disposal. Hmm. Sounds like we'll need to fight tooth and nail to win. Either way, our ship will follow dutifully behind you. May we come out of this on top, sir. Kenny, over and out. Engines to half power. Once we leave this trajectory, cruise at warp 14 to the coordinates the President sent. Yes, sir. Engines at half until we leave trajectory. Then cruise at warp 14 until destination. It'll be a while until we arrive. So do what you will in the meantime. 